Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are starting a new cup. I'm going to start on a white base because I'm going to use one of these Shore Living napkins. So this is a two-ply beverage napkin. It's from the Dollar Tree Shore Living line. So that one out of the package. Um, I'm going to try applying this one with spray adhesive. I have another cup going with a napkin from Dollar Tree that I'm doing with just Mod Podge and it is getting very textured. So I'm going to try a different method of application on this one and we'll see how that goes. Since this is two ply, it needs to be separated. And I am. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of excess all the way around, but I'm not going to trim it to start. I'm going to leave it whole and trim it after it's on the cup. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm going to get this on a, whoops, on an arm. I'm going to use my 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. I'm going to go dry. Yeah, I'm going to go dry. I'm going to go spray a quick layer on this and then come back in and we will get the napkin applied. So, and these do have kind of a direction to them. So I will have to keep that in mind when I apply it. All of the coral goes one way. So I'll be back once my adhesive is on here. Okay, so I really don't know that the adhesive is going to work any better, but it can't work any worse. So we'll find out. Not even sure I care about a straight seam, just straighter. Oh, forget it. I feel like I'm just going to make it worse at this point. So, when I Mod Podge, that'll lay back down. And I'm just going to leave this bottom edge for now. I'm going to trim the top up the same way. Just so it's out of the way a little bit. So, um, I'm trying to decide if I want to run it through the edge trimmer right now or wait a little bit. I think I'm going to run it through the edge trimmer now while it's still tacky so I can get it cleaned up a bit. Um, and I'm going to end up doing like a sprinkle of glitter on the top and the bottom. So let me get my height adjustment done on this and I'll be right back. Okay. going to trim it. Okay, so I am ready for the glitter step on this, and I have to say that I am much happier with the way the napkin looks using the spray adhesive than the one I did with the Mod Podge. 
Uh, not sure what order these are going to appear. Um, because it'll be depending on when they get finished, finished. But much, much happier with the outcome this way. So, I'll definitely keep that in mind for thinner things to use my spray adhesive and not Mod Podge. And I may sprinkle a tiny bit of the glitter around some other places. I haven't decided yet. I wish I'd done better on this edge, but it is what it is. So, like I said, I'll probably sprinkle a little random glitter just to cover that up. But I'm going to pick this up and then we'll glitter. Okay, so this is the one. It's still got wet Mod Podge on it, but you can see how bumpy this is compared to this. So, um, definite difference applying with the spray adhesive versus applying with Mod Podge. I still think that cup's going to come out okay and be beautiful, but, um, yeah. This glitter, I can't tell you what is because it came from AC Moore and they are now defunct, so, but it's just a super fine silver, like super duper fine. So I do want full coverage on the bottom. It's kind of a grayish silver. More gray than any of my other silvers, I guess I should say. Maybe a little bit more on that back seam. I haven't decided. I may cut a text decal to go in that area. So I am going to let this dry thoroughly. You don't want to put epoxy over wet Mod Podge. Bad things happen. You end up with weird white wet spots. Trust me, I've done it. Um, so I'm going to let it dry super thoroughly and then I'm going to get a coat of epoxy on it. Okay, so we are ready to get decals on this one. I added no additives to this whatsoever. It's just the way it was. So I'm kind of deciding if I want to put the decal, the main decal, over the seam. I think the big seahorse would cover most of it. I'm not going to trim this down this time. I'm going to do it whole. So I think that's what we're going to do with this one. This is a Dollar Tree Shore Living glass sticker. I'm thinking if I put it something like that, it's going to kind of cover up the bulk of the seam. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try not to behead my little buddy this time. So I think that covers the worst of the seam between the glitter and that. And we're just going to turn it the other way, roughly, to the other side. This is the furthest out point of either. So that should be good. And this says, my heart, my heart sleeps by the sea. And I said I was going to do coral to pull in the coral from the other side. So that is exactly what I did.
So, look, I'm because this tail comes over so far, it looks like it's not even, but it's pretty close to even. So, but I'm gonna get this over and we'll get a coat of epoxy on it, and this one will be done. So, I'll be back. So, I'm getting my epoxy on this one. Um, I'm using my ALE. For this one and I'm putting about 15 mls on this coat uh, this epoxy does get pretty thin when it's warm so I did not put any extra additives in here just clear epoxy um, I do want to mention though that I cleaned the rim down to stainless just because the napkin went all the way to the top and um, that adhesive was underneath it and sometimes that gets weird on the rim and you don't get the best seal so I do like to clean down to the stainless before the final coats. So that's what I did with that. So that is it. I'll give you a look at it and there's the big seahorse and the little one. A little fishy and it says my heart sleeps by the sea and the bottom is just silver so that is it I will see you in the next one thank you